I wanted to paint or customize some fidget toys from a mystery box or mystery bag, blind bag, 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 whatever you want to call it. I've made a lot of fidget dolls or fidgetable characters in the past, where I add a ton of fidget toys to a character and essentially turn it into what I call a fidget freak. I just added the mystery box aspect this time around. That way, hopefully, it's a little more of a challenge. I've seen Nerdy Crafter unbox a ton of really cool mystery box fidget toys, TikTok viral, TikTok hacks. <laughs> and that made me want to get my hands on some of my own. So this is a mystery box that my fiance put together. I don't know what's in it yet, but the goal today is to use as many fidget toys from inside this thing as possible. Usually I have things more planned out, but this time I'm pulling things out of a blind bag just to kind of switch things up a bit. Make it a little more interesting for me and for you. Or maybe just for me. <laughs> and that's cool too. To keep things even more interesting, I've hidden these four letters somewhere throughout this video. It's not gonna be easy this time. I'm sure you're gonna need all the help you can get. Help me! Let's see what I've got. Next up, a FNAF plushie. That's cute. Five Nights at Freddy's is a vibe. This one's not a fidget toy. I'm gonna be using some of these things as the base character to build on top of. There's lots of stuff in here. Tons of fidget toys. And also some stuff that has nothing to do with fidget toys. Like mini brands. Anyways, I'm not gonna take everything out. That would take forever, and I'm not sure how entertaining that would be. So I'm just quickly showing everything here. Some of these fidgets we already had laying around. That's cheating, but I'll allow it. The first fidget freak is going to be this giant pig squishy. Squishies themselves already count as fidget toys, so really I don't even have to do anything to this one. It's technically already a fidget freak, but I'll add my own vision onto it. <laughs> I love this pig. I love everything about him, especially his puffy cheeks. The thing about this guy, though, is that he's a squishy. I've only ever added fidgets to plushies, so this might be challenging. There's some damage on the back. There's gonna be even more damage on the back once I'm through with it. By the way, some of you guys might have noticed, I got some cutting mats. I'm gonna be using these as my new background. I just find it more environmentally friendly and cost-effective than using poster boards. Plus, I think they look really cool. If you look closely, you'll notice he's got some messed up eyes. Something's gotta be done about those. I'm gonna replace the eyes with some splat balls. Same thing I did to Winston the Owl Squishmallow a while back. These are silicone fidgets, so you can't really paint on them. That didn't stop me from trying, though. So for Winston, I mixed up a little bit of black paint with silicone glue for the pupils. Turns out that's only a temporary solution. If you don't mess with it, it's fine. But it does kinda come off if you try fidgeting with it. So today I'm gonna be doing things a little differently. I used my scissors to cut a slit in the back, but then I realized maybe things would move along faster if I used a box cutter. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying things. I tried digging through this pig's squishable innards to get through to the front. This is actually kind of satisfying. Now that I've cut him open, I'm turning my attention to the front. I'm planning on stabbing his eyes out with this thing because why not? Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'll have to patch that up later, but first I'm gonna try to stuff these splat balls in through his fat head. This is obviously a lot harder to do on a squishy, but I'm trying. It's actually coming along nicely. Gorgeous. Uh, come on, Piggy. Uh, come on, Piggy. You can do it. Subscribe if you believe in Piggy. Alright, cool. Now that's looking like something. <laughs> the next fidget toy from the mystery box is an orb sensory squeezy things. It's nice, very pretty, almost enchanting in a way. Too bad I'm gonna stuff it up his butt. Go! I thought it might be funny to have it like pooping it out. To make things fit, I'm gonna have to scrape out a bunch more squishy guts, which is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I've basically hollowed out the entire insides of Mr. Piggy at this point, all in the name of art. I tried stuffing that through. It was supposed to look a lot like the eyeballs, but Piggy had different ideas. Uh, I can't. He's looking pretty good so far, in my opinion. But along the way, I've created a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna try to sort that out. 
I'm using some Fabricot glue to stitch up the back, make it look a little more presentable. I use the regular fabric glue to hold my squishies together when I used to do a lot of squishy makeovers back in the day. Normal fabric glue just takes so long to dry and honestly it doesn't even work half the time. It's not worth the trouble. So lately I've been using fabric hot glue and let me tell you, it's a game changer. Much, much better. The next fidget toy from the blind bag is a Rocky Reliever. It's called Rocks. This is my absolute favorite fidget toy of the day. It's very crunchy. The most satisfying. This one's very, like, satisfying. I like it. It's very, like, I don't know, very therapeutic. Stuff it up this book. Go! <laughs> I'm gonna have this inside of a hat for the piggy. I love pigs. I have a lot of pig characters. There's just something so derpy and charming about them as a species. There's the butcher pig, piglets that are eaten by the butcher pig, the butcher pig's assistant, and the assistant's girlfriend, Lil Miss Piggy. I think that's all of them, unless I missed one. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. He's now got a fancy top hat to pull his look together. <laughs> I don't really have a name or an occupation for this pig in mind. He's a little too fancy to be a butcher pig. He's not like the other pigs, but he almost looks like a rich banker with some secrets he's been hiding. Oh my god. Which are probably best left hidden. You saw nothing. <coughs> not sure if you guys know this or not, but I have new merch for a very, very limited time. If you blink, you'll miss it. It's not super Christmassy or anything. I always try to go for merch that hopefully you can wear all year round. I did bring back the Another Day, Another Meltdown design from last year since you guys loved that so much. There's also the Wreck You Worm. Super cute and super dangerous. And last but not least, Valerie. Trevor's Crush. She walks through life with a blah kind of expression. Like life's a party and she's over it. I'm gonna link the merch down below. If you want it, make sure you get it while you still can. Anyways, he's got a little piglet minion. She's already a fidget toy. Plus, there's not a lot I could add to her, so I'm not gonna be doing anything super crazy. I'm just gonna be making her more my style. She's looking a little too innocent and adorable for my taste. I'm using a lot of fabric paint to add to her. Give her more personality. And apparently the personality I chose for her is being a simpleton. Moving on. The next thing from the mystery box is this Funko Five Nights at Freddy's plushie. First things first, I'm getting rid of the tag. I then stabbed it in the back. That's usually how I stuff fidget toys into there. Messy, yet effective. I just feel like it's okay if the back doesn't look as perfect. It's a lot easier on stuffing a plushie than it is a squishy. Honestly, I kinda just like plushies better than squishies. It's a personal preference. The first fidget aspect I'm adding are these glow-in-the-dark gummies. I'm not gonna be using them as eyes or poop this time around. I basically cut some slits into the sides of the cheeks and then I stuffed the gummies in. Much easier to do on a plushie. I love the way the cheeks pop out. It's a very fun fidget doll. And I like how it's not obvious that I added anything to it, but that's not all. I've still got some more fidget aspects I'd like to add to this FNAF plushie. I'm chopping off the ears. I've got plans for these. I'm also making some slits where the ears used to be. None of my scissors are working as well as they used to. I feel like I need to sharpen them somehow or something. Not sure. These are actually my fiance's flamingo scissors. I lost my rainbow unicorn scissors, so I'm using these for today. I miss my unicorn scissors. You guys might remember these twisty tubes, or at least that's what the packaging called them. Some of you guys mentioned they're actually called pop tubes. Sorry about that. When I say the name of a fidget toy, I'm literally just reading the packaging. That's why I call them twisty tubes. But, you know, they can be whatever you want them to be. Last time I added these as appendages for a boba tea, formerly known as Bobalicious. And that was cool. I loved that. But this time I wanted them to be completely inside the plushie. More incognito. So I stuffed them both completely inside. Using some Fabricot glue, I sealed everything in. The fidgets are, for the most part, completely hidden. It's like nothing even happened. It's got secret fidgeting capabilities. I picked up some fabric pens after you guys recommended them. I wanted to try them out. I'm always looking for stuff to save time while crafting, and these sounded right up my alley. Fabric glue worked so well, so I figured maybe fabric pens have something to them. And turns out, yeah, they do. I love the control they offer, and I really like the fact that I can just easily add little details like this on fabric. These are the non-washable ones, so they won't just wash off while cleaning my fidget toys or something. There were washable ones available, but I went with the more permanent option. I actually really don't like painting with fabric paint, so the fact that there's fabric pens is a really nice alternative. I added some buck teeth to finish off the look, and that's pretty much it for this Five Nights at Freddy's Fidget Freak. <laughs> I love every single one of these freaks, and I hope you guys do too. 